My name is Roman Wroclawski. I am former uh, uh, champion in heavyweight, in world champion in heavyweight wrestling. I went to US uh, exactly over 18 years ago with my wife and to my children. I found that in the US is uh, my new home. It's my children right now. Is my son is 25. My daughter is uh, 31. Right now, my children is uh, graduated. Both uh, my daughter and my son graduated Arizona State University. My daughter, she is right now teaching languages in. Uh, uh, she lived from Phoenix to to Houston. She teaching over there languages on uh, Houston University. She is very ambitious uh, girl. She make a master degree from Arizona State University. She uh, she is right now is a uh, low school. My son, he is computer engineering. He also lived from Phoenix. He is right now in California, Sac Sacramento. He working over there for uh, Deloitte company. My wife, my wife is uh, her name is Halina. We come to US. She is very strong lady. We are married over over 35, uh, 35 years probably. My wife is she is she keep uh, she working by cleaning service. She this is not easy job, but he can stay. He's work very 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 hard. I working in AAA company, AAA transportation company. I working over there over also almost 17 years something. I working in. Uh, this is for me also another experience, but also very exciting experience. I working for taxi airport taxi. After that, I working for stretch Lima airport. Uh, I working for uh, uh, town car. A lot of different uh, vehicles. This is also very very important experience. Also because over there I have make it my living money. Also I catch different side of American really life. This is this job helped me understand how work US rules, US system, US culture. Arizona State University have a wrestling program. I go over there, I meet with uh, he was former uh, college and coach uh, Smith, I get contacts. Later, I found that this is the uh, found that Jeff Unicello. Jeff is today is very, very successful coach. He created new people. I am very glad because what I can, I give him, I think so. I give him good opportunity. I show him a lot. I teach him how to how be a good coach. My name is Jeff Funicello. I'm the owner and founder of American Pancration MMA Fighting. I first met Roman in, uh, uh, right after my, my senior year at ASU. I wrestled there from 89 to 94, and I graduated from ASU in, in 95. I knew I wanted to get into Greco-Roman wrestling, and, uh, I, but I didn't know how. And all of a sudden, one day, I went in the wrestling room, and uh, it was after my senior year, and there was Roman Rakowski. I stumbled on, onto a world champion. It's like, like finding a pot of gold. He liked me and took me on as uh, his his student and uh, coached coached me exclusively. And then he started working with another young athlete the year after. The guy asked me, he was kind of interesting, big heavyweight. Asked me if I mind if he if he moved out here if he if I'd share my coach with him. And uh, that guy's name was Rulon Gardner. He chose Arizona because Roman was here and. Uh, Roman was working with Rulon and myself for a while, and then uh, he would come to the training camps with us up at the Olympic Training Center, and immediately the coaches took on to him and just said, this guy is, is a, a valuable asset to the U.S. coaching staff. And as you know, Rulon made, made history, won an Olympic gold medal in, in uh, 2000, and uh, Roman was there on that side coaching him, uh, picking him up when he won the gold. So we go to Sydney, steps by steps, final. Roland a win. Everybody almost almost don't believe. I was I was included. I almost don't believe, but it's facts. This is this is what's for me. You know, if you're coming, you if you are a foreigner, if you are an immigrant, you see if you have dif different different view. But what happened if Sydney was for me something something amazing, some is some is miracle, you know, everybody I don't know how happened because over there was after Rulan Win was a lot of uh, a lot of people jump something. 
I see, Rulan, I see in, on map American flags. American flags, for me, this is some, something the same as uh, holy, holy thing, because this is dream. American, American flags, this is a really dream for me. I see this flag on map. What I can do, I take, open, shake, and emotionally give for for Roland. No, for me, I never ever forgot this this moment. For me, it's a double pleasure work for American Army. I am proud if people let me work because what I say, this country. It is for me right now is my hope. What I can, I do the best. If 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 only possible. If people call me, I next day I buy ticket, I jump, we every time start working. Jeff is very interesting man, what I say, Jeff Funicello. He created this American Park creation, this is mixed of box. Wrestling, judo, this is very important for, uh, this is perfect something for uh, special troops. Because this special service don't have time for thinking, don't have time for not, nothing. For, you know, over there, you decision one second and execution. If you're thinking too long, you are out of the business. This is very, very important because this is this uh, American pancreation, what he created, it is perfect for prepare young, special group for special operation. This is very, very important. Roman's, uh, his legacy just goes on and on and on. I mean, now I'm passing on to the U.S. grappling team, which were the number one team in the world, and I have Roman to thank for that. That's why we're getting these uh, interests with special operation teams and, and military groups and contracting groups and Merc teams that are, that are going and getting contracted. Uh, we have uh, um, I work with the 5th Group Special Forces, we work with a couple other the SF teams and work with many other different special operations groups, um, some Rangers, um, starting to talk with some Navy SEALs, SEAL teams, um, work with some PJs, and, um, JTAGs, TACPs, um, working with uh, guys out of Fort Riley and Fort Campbell. Oh, up at Fort Polk or uh, Fort Campbell, any of the, the installations that we go to. Um, uh, the soldiers and uh, the operatives t really take to him. If I can show it a thousand times and, uh, you know, if, if they're missing some type of fundamental, Roman says something with his horrible English and uh, they get it. You know, it's just, uh, it's, it's, he does have that magic touch. Even as he gets older, you know, I think he's 57 now, still gets out there and shows his techniques and shows how to do it. Well, Roman's coached, oh, he's a world champion, he's coached world champions, Olympic gold medalists, he's coached ultimate fighting champions, he's coached the U.S. Special Forces, the fifth group Special Forces, and as, I mean, SEAL Team 6. Roman has been a part of coaching the best of the best all the time. I mean, it is no secret. He coaches the best of the best. You need a guy that can motivate an Olympian to motivate a commando. This for me was over there is a visit for Campbell. Was this is a really really huge base. This is this is very very exciting, new, extremely new experience because if you are if you are realistic, you see if these people right now do you keep these people on training? You show maybe tomorrow these people be under fire. What you show? You must be, be responsible. For example, I like to be very deeply responsible because I what I know. If you show something, small mistake, small mistake, maybe these people began. This is not not easy because my hard work for these people. Every time if I go over there, I make it super concentration because I like show for these people what I what do I know the best. Because coach, teacher must be the leader responsible about student. What I'm doing this is same time must be very, very exact, very, very perfect. 
My name is Kyle Dubé. I served in the Army for seven years. I served with the 82nd Airborne and the 25th Infantry Division. Um, I did three tours of Iraq, uh, OAF 1, 5, and 7, and now I train with American Pancreation MMA. I first met Roman about a year ago at the Spartan Training Academy. Uh, he was running a, a session here. Uh, he specializes in Greco-Roman wrestling. Um, the majority of us are combat veterans. Uh, we're used to seeing violence and then coming back into the civilian world and not seeing violence, not knowing how to deal with the civilian manner of violence. Uh, of course, when you're at war, uh, it's kill or be killed and you can't function like that in the civilian world in the United States. Roman has an aura about him that sort of brings everybody towards him. Um, he is very keen on our mental game, uh, staying focused. When I came back from my second tour of Iraq, I was diagnosed with PTSD. Um, when I got let off for the day. I would go to the bars, I would drink as much as I could, and I would fight anyone I could find. Since I've been in the program, I'm in a controlled environment where I learn to control that aggression and use it in, in positive ways. It was a few months ago, uh, the Department of Defense sent someone in to come interview some of the veterans. And when we were all sitting in the same room together and talking about our PTSD, it was the first time that I had really noticed how many of us have been dealing with PTSD. And everybody had the exact same thing to say, is how much this program has really helped us overcome our PTSD symptoms and become positive citizens. I was a, a medic with the infantry uh, when I was with the 25th ID. And uh, we would clear rooms door to door and the training that we received through the military, I do not feel that it prepared any of us for any situations that could have arisen while we were clearing rooms. Everything that I learned in the military, I would have learned in the first week here. Having these skills, uh, having these advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, it's not the fact of whether or not a soldier is going to need to use it. It's the fact that they know they have the ability to handle any situation that they come across in these tight, close quarter combat. They won't hesitate to kick down that door and move in. I did a lot of my training here at ASU um, through the uh, American Pancration uh, Mixed Martial Arts Club that uh, Roman and Jeff have here. I saw Roman here from my, my tenure here at ASU was uh, 04 to 08. Just his, his interaction with me personally has been pivotal in my success in the private security industry. When we pulled into port in India, there actually was an incident on board, and I remember specifically thinking, well, what am I going to do? I'm just one person, and there's three of these guys, um, and I had only caught up to two of them. And I just remember Roman and Jeff in my head saying, if you have to fight two people and you're by yourself, then you use what's called an eye formation, and you keep one, you get your hands on one of the threats, and then you keep him in between you and the other attacker. And uh, just using the techniques that Roman and Jeff had taught me about, um, I was able to neutralize those, threat in a, those threats in a less than lethal way. So uh, there was no uh, legal repercussions that the Indian government could have pursued. And uh, it, it, ended, it ended well for the, uh, 
the client, the principal, and, uh, and myself. And uh, that's directly directly due to uh, the teachings of Roman and Jeff. And uh, w without those teachings, I think it could have been a very bad situation where I, I may not be talking to you right now. Uh, my name is Jose Cornell. I'm currently 20 years old, and I'm a business communication major here at ASU. I actually met Roman my you know end of the first year there, and he volunteered to help out a lot of the ASU kids. And you know, having somebody like him that's trained someone like Rulon Gardner, you know, he knows what he's talking about. I learned a lot from him. The longer I've known him, the more we've kind of become more friends than just you know than just you know trainer and trainee. You know, we do mess around. He calls me his grandson you know, with his broken English, but, you know, it's, it's nice to have someone like him who knows and has trained the best to really, I guess, be on your side and really, you know, believe in you when, you know, a lot of times you don't believe in yourself. Um, it really helps you through those hard times. I know he works with a lot of the ROTC guys. We, we do um, high altitude training camps. We work with, you know, ex-veterans uh, and current guys that are actually still in. And uh, we go up to Prescott, we do these um, Milsom events. We, we do uh, military combat training. We have plenty of guys that have made special forces. Just about every guy that Roman has trained has always expressed that they wish they had somebody like Roman to teach them when they were, for, when they were actually getting ready to go out into battle. Um, you know, unfortunately, we've had some guys that have talked about lost friends where they feel that you know, they just weren't prepared fully to go out there and get into these predicaments and get into these threatful situations. If it brings one person back home alive, then Roman's done his job. I think the clinch and the Greco-Roman aspect of wrestling that Jeff and Roman teach so much at Pancration translates really well to a future career in the military just because of the, the upright combative idea of it and the hand-to-hand -hand aspect that you learn through the clinch and whatnot. And we're uh, all preparing to become officers in a world-class military for the United States, and Roman was a world-class athlete, so. They go hand-in-hand, hand, training for ones, training for the other. He's done so much volunteer work, it's ridiculous. He trained me for four, for four different Olympic trials for over 16 years. He never took a nickel from me. Train comes in and works with my guys, comes to the ASU, coaches my athletes there, comes over to my gym at the Spartan Academy there, comes up to our training camps, helps out there. But I, he never charged me a nickel on it. I think he, charged, he never charged Rue on anything either. Why I don't like talking about money? Because what I say from, 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 from beginning, I come, I went to US with my family. This country helped me a lot. American people, Everything, this American system helped me, educated my children. I can find a job, my wife, my wife can find a job. I think so I get some, some credit. If coming time, I try to pay this credit to back. Hello, my name is Jamil Byers. I'm a member of the Army's world-class athlete program, Greco-Roman wrestling team. I'm a two-time Olympian and a 10-time national champion in my time. Uh, training and competing for Olympics, uh, I've been fortunate enough to meet uh, Coach Roman and, and he uh, has definitely proven beneficial to my, my career, you know, with uh, the insight he's given me about being a heavyweight wrestler. I first met Roman, I think, in 1997. Uh, over the years, training with him, you know, I could hear him you know, coaching, you know, some of my competitors, you know, Rulon Gardner. Later, we ended up bringing, bringing him in here at uh, uh, WCAP. I can seriously say that I've benefit, benefited tremendously from the things that uh, Roman has taught me. I will be uh, competing in London uh, at the Olympics uh, for the 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, Roman has been in contact with me, you know, all the way up to this point, you know, but uh, just just in preparation and training, you know, keeping a close eye and, or, you know, just, it's funny that he's keeping a close eye with all this stuff going on. You know, he, he uh, most people would be so worried about, about 
all the horrible things that could happen, you know, and you know, we're talking about his freedom or the life that he has here and his his, his kids and stuff. But he's he's concerned about what what's going on with me and my training regimen and me overdoing it and keeping me reminded as how important it is for me to get this medal. The World Class Athlete Program, uh, we have a mission. The, the uh, new mission that we have is, is a train-the-trainer type mission for the Army Combative School. And that directly touches the force. You know, so if I'm training the instructors for the Combative School, that's going to touch everybody. And, you know, and the same philosophies that Roman has put in me, you know, I'm sharing with people, you know, and just it may be a violent thing, you know, but it's combative. It's supposed to be, you know, and that's really, you know, like I say, it's a piece of Roman still floating around the Army. This guy still helping people and training people and breaking his neck for this country. We're proud to know him. My name is Second Lieutenant Ian uh, Patrick McAlpine. I'm uh, a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army Infantry. First time I met Jeff in the cello, um, I freshman in college and Jeff's program, you know, it was it was heavy on the clinch work, heavy on the Greco uh, aspect of wrestling, and and Roman was always there preaching that when he came, made it easy for them to understand. So what you had then was kind of this like it was kind of like a, like a lineage, you know, and Roman. You know, he really grandfathered that program. And then the, after years went by and continuing to work with Roman and continuing to get to know guys like Doug Fournette, um, who is the, like the most, he's the most renowned Sambo player in the world. Uh, Dan Henderson, uh, Randy Couture, all those guys who I got to meet, you know, just it all tied back into Roman. About a year ago this time, I, uh, was with Roman and Jeff, and we were. Jeff was contacted by a, a 21st Support Squadron Attack P, which is a um, it's a, a job in the Air Force. These guys they they go out and they're attached to different units, Army units, Marine units, uh, sometimes Special Operations units. We went to uh, Fort Polk, Louisiana, uh, to meet with these guys who were pretty gung ho. It was cool. It was Jeff and Roman and myself. This is very much you know, the real deal, like, you're going to come around a corner and you're going to be faced with, uh, you know, who knows? It could be a man, a woman. It could be, it could be anything. They might have a gun or a knife or a bottle or a, or a bomb, and you don't really get to pick. And, and um, these guys are faced with it every day, you know, and so what we were able to do with them was, was show them some techniques and build off of some basics. Roman had a way of engaging them um, even when, when Jeff and I were, you know, maybe off on some other tangent, you know, he could bring it back full circle. And when he would speak, um, like when he always does, everybody listens, everybody always listens. And, and he's able again to convey it, you know, uh, however he can. And it's, I don't know if it's like a, just a universal gift he has, but he, uh, he just, teaches, you know, he's a mentor and a teacher, you know, and that was never more apparent in, in Fort Polk, you know, and even with the 5th Special Forces Group in uh, in Fort Campbell in Kentucky, and I'm sure Jeff will elaborate on that, um, but here are guys who are experts in the field who are, you know, willing to learn something they've never really even heard of or might have an idea of, and Roman is able to refine it, you know. He, you know, he does it for Olympic athletes. He does it because he loves it. Um, he does it because because he can and because the United States uh, allows him to do it. Um, you know, and he and he gives back just because he wants to, uh, just for his own love of the sport, for, for his own love of people, for his love of this country. You know, and he's free to do that here. I can't. Put into words, you know what a what a significant loss it would be for him to uh, turn back, you know, over to Poland. It'd be like it'd be like destroying a painting, you know, just a one-time thing. You could never get it back.